like roadblocks to being extremely successful. Hi, my name is Slavika Bogdanov. Uh, I am a professional coach, a published author of over 40 books on success, and uh, also a film producer, a multipreneur, and I help businesses, entrepreneurs, startups, uh, be successful and scale them. I love to say that I'm a times 10 scaling a guru. So what do I see as the five uh, roadblocks to being successful as an entrepreneur or even a startup? Uh, the first one is really setting up clear goals. Many entrepreneurs, and it really, I don't think it depends on the size of the business or the, the time where, how long they've been in business. I think it's really number one common mistake is to not set extremely clear goals uh, within a time frame. The clearer your goals, and often you don't have to have many, just be super focused on the top three goals that you would have. And if you don't, if you're not practiced enough in goal setting, I would say just aim at one goal and, and achieve it. But I think that's really the main um, the main problem that a lot of entrepreneurs and startups have. Uh, they can't really clarify what they want to achieve precisely in terms of numbers, numbers of clients per month, num uh, revenue per month. What is the goal that you are trying to achieve? And often that comes from number two, which is a lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-esteem is not trusting that you will be able to attain that goal. And then it's easy to be unclear because that puts less responsibility on your shoulders and less accountability to actually go for it and actually get it, achieve the goal. So I think uh, having more self-confidence, working on your self-confidence, improving your self-esteem. Um, and self-confidence encompasses also being able to speak in public, being able to directly speak to a potential client, being able to even, you know, go to your competitor and see what they're doing is having the, the confidence to go, uh, to push through obstacles uh, speak in public, speak with uh, your clients, speak about your business, and also the self-confidence in knowing, well, if I set this goal, I know I can make it. I know I can achieve it, even if it stretches my comfort zone. Because you need to set goals that stretch your comfort zone, uh, evidently. If you set goals that are too easy, well, it damages your self-esteem and your self-confidence, um, and you're setting yourself um, too low um, in, into the space where, yes, it's easy, comfortable, but it doesn't help your business. And whatever you don't do, your competitors will do. So keep that in mind. Number three, it's really time management. And I have coached hundreds of businesses. Uh, and that is one of the, I guess, the one of the deepest pain points uh, with, uh, with business owners. And that's no matter the size, even large corporations um, have that issue on managing time, uh, differentiating be between priorities and urgencies, uh, knowing what is really important to get your business from where you are to where you wanna be in a certain amount of time how to not get overwhelmed with uh, the small stuff, how to delegate uh, massively, um, how, to, uh, how to balance the life as well as your, um, the family life with your business. So that's number three. It's, it's a catastrophe, I'd say. And uh, I have helped uh, businesses reduce anywhere from two to four hours of their daily load, uh, which, which is tremendous. So increased somewhere alongside the 25% of increase in available time. We all have the same amount of time, but the way that you manage your time uh, will 
either make you overwhelmed with stuff to do or uh, you will be underwhelmed, which means that you're spending too much time in small things, not enough time on the important things and your business will not grow. And what doesn't grow, guess what, dies. So you want to always grow with your business. That's super important. Number four is sales. Close, 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 close. So uh, that's a, a huge problem that I see uh, in uh, businesses, small or large, uh, is really the ability to get more leads, more sales, and to be closing all the time. Uh, if you're a small entrepreneur, meaning that you're, it's just you, you have your, your self-made <clears throat> self business startup, or you're in sales, um, you have to focus on getting tons of leads all the time. Your funnel has to be full. If you're a medium and even a large company, you have to have a funnel that's always, always full with prospects. Um, and of course, having a very good CRM system to follow up with the leads and always be they're for them top of mind because if you are not top of mind someone will be top of mind and potentially your competitor so if you're in sales that's what you have to do all the time is sell 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 and i see a lot of salespeople, whether in real estate or mlm or that think they're in sales from nine to five so they start the day and it's like they, they put themselves in selling mode. Uh, it's 9 a.m. Oh, I'm supposed to start selling now. Oh, it's 5 p.m. I'm supposed to stop. Oh, I'm taking a break. So I'm taking a break from selling. That's not how it works. If you're in sales, you're in sales 24 hours, seven days a week. You're always selling because if you're not, guess what? Somebody else will. So, and also people imagine that if they are someone's client, they cannot be selling to them. On the contrary, you should be selling to the people who are selling you. So that way you can, you know, you have more chances of uh, getting a deal because you're already offering that person your own, your own self as a client. So always be selling, always keep a lead generation system in place. I'd say even build multi different levels of lead generation systems, uh, whether it's, and on different social media can be different systems. On Facebook, it can be Facebook groups, Facebook ads. Uh, it can be engaging in, uh, in discussions and comments on Facebook that are particular to your niche. And where it comes to LinkedIn, if you're in the B2B uh, uh, sales or you want to reach more professionals, well, guess what? LinkedIn is the place to be. That's where you want to have the most amount of time spent uh, and the most amount of time invested to reach a massive amount of uh, businesses. That's where my system of LinkedIn lead generation comes in. Uh, you can see below the link where I help you generate quality, qualified, targeted, um, particular leads to your niche, to your, uh, to what you are offering specifically, service or um, product. So that is really important: is to always, always, never take anything for granted. Never think, oh, you know, my referrals are gonna refer me, or I. I generated enough business to sustain me for a while because there is, you know, there's a sales cycle. And if you don't follow it, well, you're going to hit a, a lull moment where you don't have sales. And if you don't have anybody in your funnel, well, you're going to end up in a very, very dangerous spiral, not only um, in, in the financing uh, portion of your business, but in your self-confidence because there's nothing worse than to start selling when you're desperate uh, because it comes across as being desperate and you'll get much less sales and then it's like a, a downward uh, downward 
spiral that and you might you know crash and and collapse so always always keep a, a funnel full of clients and number five last but not least always keep an eye on the competition what they are doing compare yourself continuously and improve continuously you have to improve your services you have to improve your uh not only your client services the way you sell the way you present your company the way you present your ads uh you need to improve in your products in your strategy you need to improve in your sales process and uh, there's something that i really um learn from uh, Brian Tracy's uh, teachings is to always consider your your business as a chain uh, a chain of all little elements that makes your business successful and your role is to figure out which one of the chain uh, portions is the most deficient the slowest uh, the one that needs the most work because as you know the slowest part of the business is actually what governs the speed of your business. So you can have an entire portion of your of your sales figured out, you can have the CRM figure out, the advertising figure out, and then you have maybe the administrative work that's not figured out, or, or your lead generation system is not to the point, uh, or you have, you don't close enough, so you need to figure out or, or the, the chain of creating the products is not to its best level, the manufacturing. You have to realize where that, that problem is, where is the slowest moving part because that governs the speed of the entire, uh, entire system. A little bit like a train, if you have one wagon that's going slow, slower than all the others, well, the train can only go as fast as the slowest wagons. So, um, so that is something that you need to analyze. Often it's good to take someone that's from the outside to analyze it for you. I do that for businesses. I look at the whole system and then I see where there is a lack, where there is an issue, and then we fix it. And once you fix it, when you fix that, evidently your business will speed up. You'll see suddenly a jolt in action and then you have to go to the next slowest moving part and the next and the next until you see that the whole machine is running smoothly and faster and you never stop it never ends uh, because maybe in a part will go uh will will start rotting or will start having issues and you always have to look at every single part of your business to make sure that everything is running and and to manage everything efe efficiently to make sure that your business doesn't uh, hit a huge roadblock uh, and that you were not aware that that negative surprise is going to hit you uh, because you weren't aware of all the little issues that your business has as you know you know, all the little pieces that don't work are like rotten little apples. And eventually the whole system can collapse uh, if you don't have it figured out in time. I hope these help. Um, of course, if you need my help, please contact me. Uh, you can find either on my website, slavikabogdanov.com, or you can post a comment or uh, find me on Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, I'm easable, easily reachable. And, um, and if I have time to, uh, to have, uh, to coach you, it'll be my pleasure. If not, I strongly suggest you click on the link below concerning the LinkedIn lead generation. It's an amazing system, an amazing tool. It works. It brings a lot of fresh new prospects into your email, into your inbox, into your calendar, and you talk to warm or hot leads less cold calls, less wasting money on advertising that doesn't target the right client. So I hope it helps and I hope I can help you in the near future. Thank you.